Did you know about the fascinating life of baby warthogs, also known as piglets? Let's delve into the intriguing world of these little creatures, who at birth weigh only about one to two pounds. That's about the weight of a small bag of sugar. The journey of a baby warthog begins in their mother's womb. The gestation period is approximately five and a half to six months. Now imagine a mother warthog ready to give birth can bring into the world anywhere from two to eight piglets at a time. But here's the catch. Although she may have a large litter, she can nurse only four young ones at a time. So often only two or three piglets survive, adding an element of survival of the fittest right from birth. Piglets are not just born into the world. They are born into a sounder. A sounder is a matriarchal group or home range where piglets live with their mother, learning the ropes of warthog life. And it's not all play and no work for these piglets. They are weaned at around four months old, learning independence at a tender age. But don't think for a moment that these piglets are all about eating and sleeping. No, sir. After about 10 days, their adventurous spirit kicks in and they begin to explore outside their burrow with their mother. With their tiny feet pattering on the ground and their little snouts sniffing around, they embark on the first of their many adventures in the wild. After all this introduction, you might think that the life of a baby warthog is all fun and games. But let's not forget the harsh reality of the wild. With a high mortality rate due to predators, the life of a baby warthog is not just fascinating. It's a thrilling adventure right from the start. So as we delve deeper into the life of these incredible creatures, remember, each day brings a new adventure in their journey of survival. What's the journey of a baby warthog to becoming a mature, independent adult like? Well, let's start with the weaning process. After being born, piglets are nourished by their mother's milk for about four months. Yes, you heard that right, only four months. After this period, they're expected to fend for themselves. The savannah is not for the faint-hearted, you see, and warthogs learn this lesson rather early in life. During this time, the piglets are also beginning to explore their surroundings, venturing out of their burrows under the watchful eye of their mother. Imagine the thrill and fear of stepping out into the vast unknown for the first time. Now let's talk about the age of maturity for these piglets. It's remarkable to think that in just 20 months, these tiny creatures transform into fully grown warthogs. That's less time than it takes for a human baby to learn to talk. But this journey to maturity is not without its challenges. Warthogs are a tasty treat for many predators and their mortality rate is high. It's a tough world out there in the wild, but warthogs are tougher. They must be to survive. One of the most heartwarming aspects of this journey is the strong bond between the mother and her offspring. Warthog mothers are fiercely protective of their young, and they'll defend them with all their might. They also teach them crucial survival skills, like how to find food and avoid predators. It's a masterclass in survival, taught by the best. The journey to maturity for a warthog is a roller coaster of growth, learning and survival. It's a testament to the resilience of these fascinating creatures and their ability to adapt to their harsh environment. In just 20 months, these piglets transform from dependent newborns to mature adults, ready to face the wild on their own. Ever wondered about the social dynamics of a warthog family? Well, let's dive right into it. Warthogs are sociable creatures, not ones to enjoy solitude. They live in groups known as sounders, which are primarily dominated by the females. You see, warthogs are matriarchal in nature, with the females leading the pack and taking charge. The sounder, is a tight-knit family unit, usually made up of a mother and her offspring. Sometimes there are even two or three generations of relatives within the same sounder. It's not uncommon to see grandmothers, mothers and daughters all cohabiting peacefully, nurturing and protecting the young piglets together. Now let's talk about where these sounders make their homes. Warthogs are adaptable creatures and can be found in a variety of habitats. They love the open grasslands and savanna woodlands, where they can roam freely and forage for their plant-based diet. They're not territorial, so don't expect any keep-out signs around their home ranges. They're quite the welcoming bunch, as long as you're not a predator, of course. Speaking of homes, warthogs are known to be quite the architects. They create complex burrow systems underground, which serve as a safe haven for the sounder. 
These burrows aren't just for sleeping though. They also provide a secure place for the piglets to play and explore under the watchful eyes of their mothers and aunts. The social dynamics within a warthog family are truly fascinating. Each member plays a crucial role in the survival and well-being of the group. From the protective mothers and aunts to the curious piglets, each one contributes to the thriving community. And let's not forget the males, who, despite not living in the sounder, play their part during the mating season and in defending against predators. So there you have it, a glimpse into the intriguing world of the warthog family. As sociable creatures, warthogs create a strong sense of community within their sounders, making their family dynamics as intriguing as their individual lives. How do warthogs communicate and defend themselves in the wild? Now that's an interesting question. Let's dive into the world of warthog communication. These fascinating creatures have a language all their own. It's not just grunts and squeals as some might think. They have a rich variety of vocalizations, each with its own meaning. From soft grunts to loud squeals, each sound plays a crucial role in their social interactions. For instance, when a warthog is content, it might express this with a series of soft grunts. On the other hand, if a warthog is feeling threatened or anxious, it might let out a series of loud squeals or snorts. This is their way of saying, back off, I'm not in the mood. But what about when a threat is imminent? How do warthogs defend themselves? Well, that's where their tusks come into play. These aren't just for show, folks. They're effective weapons against predators. These large teeth, which can grow up to two feet long, are made of a substance called dentin, which is harder than bone. They're sharp, they're tough, and they're ready to defend their owner. When faced with a predator, a warthog will lower its head, brandishing these tusks. This is a clear warning to any would-be attacker that they're messing with the wrong hog. If the threat continues, the warthog won't hesitate to charge, using these tusks to gash and slash. Yet, despite their formidable defense, warthogs aren't aggressive animals. They prefer to avoid conflict when possible. Often their first response to danger is to run for the nearest burrow, tail held high as a warning to others. And there you have it. From grunts to squeals and snorts, warthogs have their unique language. And when it comes to defense, their tusks are their best weapon. Next time you hear a grunt or see a pair of tusks, you'll know a bit more about what's going on in the world of warthogs. Despite their fascinating lives, warthogs are facing some serious challenges. These remarkable creatures, known for their sociability and resilience, are now battling against odds that are stacked against them. In the vast landscapes of Africa, where warthogs once roamed freely, their habitats are being destroyed at an alarming rate. Forests are being cleared for agriculture, urbanization is encroaching upon grasslands, and savanna woodlands are disappearing. This loss of habitat is pushing warthogs into smaller and smaller pockets of land, limiting their access to food and water, and increasing their vulnerability to predators. Now let's talk about hunting. Warthogs are hunted for their meat, a practice that has been part of local cultures for centuries. However, the scale of hunting has increased dramatically in recent years, driven by a growing demand for bushmeat. This puts enormous pressure on warthog populations and contributes significantly to their decline. But here's the real kicker. Warthogs are not just victims of hunting for meat. They're also being targeted for their tusks, which are actually their large teeth. These tusks, prized for their ivory, are sold on the black market, fueling a cruel and illegal trade that threatens these animals' survival. In the face of these threats, warthogs have been classified as a vulnerable species. This means that without swift and effective conservation action, they could soon be at risk of extinction. Conservation efforts are now focused on protecting their habitats, regulating hunting, and putting an end to the illegal ivory trade. The exciting lives of warthogs are threatened by human activities, their survival depends on our understanding and respect for these fascinating creatures. So, let's take a moment to appreciate the warthog, not just for its unique appearance and behaviour, but also for its role in the ecosystem. After all, every creature, no matter how small or large, plays a part in making our planet the diverse and vibrant place that it is. Remember, the plight of the warthog is not just their fight, but ours too.